Y'all, y'all are not going to believe this. I went live for two hours and 14 minutes last night. Whoa, Jesus. Y'all, do y'all know in two hours and 14 minutes, I started my live at 861 subscribers. When I ended my live and I refreshed my home screen, my subscriber count went from 861 all the way up to 954 subscribers. Don't tell me that you can't do it. Let me tell you something. I get up here and I push myself. God knows. Sometimes my body just, it just be like, girl, you tried it today. But I said I was going to make myself available. And I'm making myself available, y'all. 861 to 954 new subs in two hours. You better, you better, you better come with something crazy. You, you got to come with something crazy in this life, in this season of your life. Cause I know in this season of my life, I got radical, crazy faith. Okay. First in him, hallelujah. And then in me, because greater is he that is in me than me being in this world. Okay. I want to give a special shout out. To everyone who comes to my lives, who watches my videos, who supports, who lets me know that they're there, who comments. I love the active engagement. Y'all are like the best. I got to give y'all love, virtual hugs, okay? Because I couldn't do this without your support. So, on a larger scale... This video right here is a congratulatory video because after I got off of the two hour live, my live ended, my two hour live ended because my husband called me from work. He was on his lunch break. Okay. I started a new live. Okay. In one hour and some change, one hour and about 12 minutes, gained 79 likes, okay, 4,000 plus views, okay, and by the time that live ended, I was well over my second YouTube requirement. My live ended at 1,014 subscribers. <laughs> Give yourself a round of applause, baby, because y'all did it. Yeah, I know I stood up there, but baby, given the fact that I wasn't feeling good yesterday. And I mean, you can still hear some of that today. I got to tell myself and God, I got to tell God first, thank you. Y'all, I had a conversation with somebody today and it went a little something like this. I'm gonna just give you a little snippet. They had some reservations, some angry emotions because they got word back about something that they had expected that is no longer happening right now as we can see it. And as I was trying to speak a word of encouragement to them, the spirit was downloading something for me. You up here pedaling and pushing like doing a little too much sometimes. And in my mind, I'm like, oh, God, come on now. You told me that the world is mine, that this plate that you will place before me, I can eat off of it the way that you say I can eat. So why are you saying this to me, Lord? He said, I'm not saying this to you for you to lose hope. I'm not saying this to you for you to give up. I'm not saying this to you for you to slow down. I'm telling you, stop worrying about what you don't see. Be anxious for nothing, for nothing, for nothing of this world. And I was like, wow, God. He set me right straight, y'all. He set me straight. 
So I'm saying all that to say this. I'm going to gather myself together. And I'm not going to say I'm going to slow down. But I'm going to take it easy because I know God is navigating. Okay? This journey that I'm on, he's the driver. I got to let him be in the driver's seat and let me just be the little princess passenger. I got to be okay with what he's doing in this season of my life. And you do too. You do too. Stop complaining about what you don't see. Okay? Let your faith be bigger than your fear. You should be concerned about the things that you can't see. Okay? Because I know it's like walking in the dark with a blindfold on. You think you know where you're going. But honestly, sometimes being in the dark makes us afraid. It makes us uncomfortable because it's the unknown that we're concerned about. But in God's world, the unknown is what we should be hopeful for. Okay? Because that's what increases our faith in him. So yes, while YouTube is certainly desirable, to be monetized is absolutely desirable. He already is giving me the desires of my heart, which is the ability to get up here and do it. Okay? So be encouraged and know that you got this. You, you already doing it. You just got to activate your faith. Stand up. Put your big girl, your big boy pants on. And let yourself be free. Receive all of the blessings that God has for your life. Because the mold was made specifically for you. Somebody else's mold is made for them. Don't be discouraged by what you don't see. Set your sights on the things that you're going to see. Be hopeful for what you can see, what you will come into. Speak it. Decree it. Declare it. It is already yours. You just got to stay on the right course to get to it. That's it. Now, if you're new to the channel, I'm Caramel, live, local, and late breaking. I got a cold, throat still a little sore, but I don't care. She don't care about none of that. I'm here, like I said, all up in your face, okay? And I ain't going nowhere. And um, sometimes the body don't be bodying. Sometimes it feels like it does what it wants to do, but that's okay. Long as this part of me can move and get up. I'm up and I'm going to stay up. And I mean that from the deepest places of my heart. See, it ain't always about the tangible things. Let the spirit motivate you to be called to greater. Be called to greater because you got it in you. Because I know I got it in me. I just had to let go of that fear. I have a picture upstairs in one of the areas of my house that says, let your faith be bigger than your fear. Did you hear what I just said? Let your faith be bigger than your fear. Fear is a form of bondage. Okay? We done been through enough of that. Release, relate, let go, and let God. But you got this. Because let me tell you something. Girl, I'm amped. I'm amped. And ain't a daggone thing the devil going to be able to do about it. It's your girl, Caramel. I'm getting ready to sign out. But I love you big with the love of Jesus Christ. If you're new here, thank you so much for being here. You're going to love it here. And if you're returning, we already in life, Flynn, y'all family. Be sure to watch the video, like the video, tell me your thoughts. I love to hear from you. I love you with the love of Jesus Christ. I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.